Boom, recording. Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another transfer video. Big up to every single one of you that's locked in. You guys already know what to do as soon as you enter the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification button if you haven't done so already. And lock in because we're here to talk the latest in the Elise saga, which is really starting to heat up over the last 24 hours. We've had another round of updates from Fabrizio Romano. We've heard all the same nonsense over the last two and a half weeks about days, months, building, hot hours ahead, all of that crap, all the buzzwords that you can think of, we've heard it. But we've not seen this move from Crystal Palace, and it's a final roll of the dice. As Crystal Palace have offered a new deal to Michael Elise, higher salary, new release clause for 2025, Despite this, Chelsea are still confident, according to Fabrizio. Um, we're pushing to agree on personal terms, and it's up to the player. Bayern and Newcastle also allowed to talk to Elise. What I like about this, first off, is that it's only Bayern and Newcastle that are still being mentioned. Which means all the talk about Arsenal, and um, potentially United, potentially... Um, I think those rumours, potentially, of Liverpool, some murmurs, but... They obviously don't really mean a lot. The only clubs that we're really worrying about is Bayern and Newcastle. And I've said before, Newcastle don't really worry me too much. They can't really offer anything that we can't offer them. We've got Europe. They don't have it. We're in the middle of a project. They're in the middle of a project. We've actually improved last season, even though like you're comparing it to the team from 12th, whereas Newcastle have gone from 3rd all the way back down to 7th, and now they're not even in the champion, they're not even in the Conference League, because the FA Cup win, so they can't offer anything that we can't offer. Bayern, like, Bayern I've said have concerned me, because it's Bayern Munich, you have to respect their pool, they're a club that can offer competition for their league title, and to be one of the main contenders for the Champions League as well. But that hasn't progressed. There's been talk of Bayern needing to sell to buy first and foremost, which could potentially explain the stalling from Elise's side. But there's also been lots of talk about Elise preferring to stay in London, preferring to stay with a London-based club. The talk about um, having his son, his son, having his brother in the Chelsea academy, and that being a factor of him potentially wanting to pick Chelsea over United. We heard that a few weeks ago as well. So, I feel like that's starting to play a part a bit as well. Either that, or Elise is stalling and he's trying to gauge all of his options, which could, which could also be a factor as well. I just think if he's stalling, he's potentially stalling for Bayern Munich and not really for anybody else. Because if Arsenal had interest in him, and obviously they'd be a London side that can offer a little bit more than what we can offer right now, they would have already turned up for him. Tottenham not really offering much more than what we're offering, except what Europa League football. They're a team that don't even know how to win anything, so that won't really make a difference either. All this is about persuading Elise not to wait much longer because he can afford to wait. The ball's in his his court, and he could also afford to re-sign. If he re-signs, it might be on better terms for him. He might get another pay rise. He might get a higher percentage of the release clause if he was to leave in a year's time as opposed to leaving now. And I guess that kind of makes sense on his side too, but it also could potentially price him out. Like we've seen it happen to Wilfred Zaha, for example, where he had such a massive release clause, nobody was willing to go near it. And it meant that he was stuck at Palace until he was 29 years old. Elise could be looking at that situation thinking, I don't want that to happen to me because let's say worst case scenario, Elise gets like another big injury next season and he's out for the majority of the season. God forbid that that, that doesn't happen, whether he's at Chelsea or at Palace. But if that was to happen, people aren't going to spend 80 million to break his release clause, for example. And then Palace can just say, ah, no one's coming in for you. I guess you're stuck here. I guess you're stuck here, mate. Welcome. You're not going anywhere. So, this is the final roll of the dice from Palace. I don't know if he would accept a new deal. I think he could potentially stay for another year, just on the same terms. Because 60 million, that's, that's 
a fee that clubs have already shown that they're willing to pay Elise. I think even in a year's time, if he was to have a bit of a downturn of a season, you'd still have some clubs that'd be willing to take a punt on him for that amount. If he was to sign a new deal with a new release clause, and that was at like, what, 70 or 80 million? Like, yeah, you're betting on yourself, but it's still a big risk, and it's still a risk that could have massive implications on his entire career. So... I think it would make more sense for him to go to a club that's already in a European spot, is already on an upward trajectory, and a club that he would be a key part of helping progress to the next step in terms of getting into the top four, competing on all fronts, and hopefully going for the league title in the next two or three seasons. So, hopefully Elise picks Chelsea. Hopefully this doesn't drag out for too long. I feel confident. Like, nothing Fabrizio has said has made me feel like um, he's not going to join us. Chelsea seem very confident. They seem obsessed with the transfer. That's Fabrizio's own words on it. The other options, like Bayern, are the only real competition for us. And Elise doesn't seem that interested in Bayern. Although, again, the next few weeks will potentially um, change that. If Bayern are to make the right... Uh, transfers out and they're able to raise some more funds but we'll see what happens on the Elise front um, in terms of other transfer news I saw us linked with 19 year old Argentinian centre back Aaron Al Anselmino Aaron Al Anselmino um, he plays for Boca Juniors I think he's their best centre back according to some Argentine fans from what I've seen very good at 1v1s, very press resistant, and for his age, his composure is absolutely ridiculous. This is another one for the future, another one of the South Americans that we're wheeling up, and that we seem to be wheeling up every year. But he does look very talented. Six foot one, already at 18. He will probably keep growing. I have heard he does need to improve his weak foot, but... He's got plenty of years to do that. You're not going to see him in the first team. He'll probably go into the development team or go into Strasbourg if we end up bringing the player in. But, yeah. Um, cool. We got the next Thiago Silva. Love to see it. Even though he's Argentine. I don't care. It is what it is. But, yeah. Cool. Um, I, I did see him likened to, to Thiago Silva a couple times while I was researching about him. Just because of his positional awareness and his composure when it comes to defending inside of his box. But yeah, that, that's big, big boots to fill. I'm not trying to do that just yet. But cool, cool. 13.3 million is the first offer. I, I guess that's not really a lot to be annoyed about. Oh, we're spending all our money on young players. I, I don't care. I, I couldn't care less about this one. Send him to Strasbourg. He, he might be brilliant in five years. Or we'll just flip him. Who cares? But yeah, big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that is. Been great to be back for another transfer video. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to do all that. I feel like I've said that about five times in this video. But I have to keep reminding people because people don't hit the like button. So guys, again, we're going to tell you again. Hit that like button, subscribe. I don't think there's any other transfer news, but there'll probably be more that drops by the time I wake up. By the time you lot watch this, I'm going to be asleep. So, yeah, big up to every single one of you. I'm going to bed. Take care. <laughs> up the Chelsea. And, yeah, I can't say potch out anymore. Yeah, peace. Peace.